Hey guys, and welcome back. So, today I decided I'm gonna tackle that water pump job. So the first thing to do would be to jack up the car so I could get to the front. The car is definitely leaking as you can see here. Secondly, I had to get under the car and remove the undercover tray so I could have access from underneath. And then later on, I would have to remove the AC compressor from its mounting so that I could have access from above. Here you can see how I've gained access to the side of the engine by removing the inner fender splash cover. So I've had to take a bit of a time out with this job. I encountered a couple of problems and I had to basically make a sensible decision in terms of how much time I put into fixing this issue and with the new things that came up you know like verse like doing my job and earning money so basically what happened was is that i had to remove the inner plastic uh, liner as you know uh, on the wing to get to the water pump and all the uh, ancillaries there i've had this problem for a while where i've had a rust issue on that particular wheel arch and I've been planning to replace the whole wing. But when I removed that inner cover, basically the screw holes were on the part of the rim that was rusting away. So now I've got nothing to reattach the inner plastic shell to because the fender is rotten. So I had to think about, am I going ahead with the repair of the water pump, but then I can't put back the plastic shells and I want to uh, replace the wings and now's probably a good time to do it but I have to go to the north of Sweden and pick it up from a colleague. So I bit the bullet and thought right before I had ripped out the water pump and everything I spoke to my friend Mikael who works at PR Bill Service, uh, a Saab specialist and asked him quickly how much he would charge to do the water pump. And the, the cost was like literally like a no brainer in terms of I can continue to work and earn some money today. Uh, I have some pressing jobs. I've got a chair set I need to restore and it's like a 6,000, 7,000 crown, Swedish crown job. I also have like three motorbikes I'm doing restorations on and I've only kind of got through half through one of them. So rather than being on my back fixing a car uh, that someone else can do for me. I can actually do the restorations I need to be doing to earn some money. I can then plan to go to the north of Sweden to pick up the wing so that when I get the car back with the water pump fitted, I can just go straight ahead and do the whole job by replacing the wing. I don't want it to sound like, you know, um, I was beaten. It was just that I had to look at how much time the 9,000 would be out of commission. I think this was the best thing to do. And I get the car back like tomorrow, paid hardly any money to have it done. And I would have been able to then go and get the wing and replace that. So I think that's going to be the way to do it. At least I had the cab convertible to uh, still get around and drop off, uh, pick up parts and things like that. And now I can get on with a couple of jobs for two days as well and earn some money to pay for repairs, pay for the wing that I need to replace or fender, depending where you are. Watch this space when I actually pick up a wing and then put everything back together. And hopefully I'll be mobile again in the 9000. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. It didn't turn out how we wanted it to. But uh, as always, uh, see you next time on the Classic Sarv Guy.